Hello! In this video, we are going to inoculate a biodigester. Inoculating is a fancy word, which just means to intentionally introduce microbes. There's two ways to do it. You can do it with a septic treatment like Ridex, uh, or you can do it with manure. If you choose to do it with septic treatment, um, you're on your own there. I can't help you. I don't understand how it works. I'm guessing you just buy some and you dump it in there. Uh, I'm not sure how much. Um, it makes a lot more sense to me to use manure because manure is free. Um, and it's just more intuitive in my brain. It makes a lot more sense to me. So that's the way we're going to do it here. Now, if you're using manure, you should use, uh, you should try to get a volume of manure that is one third of the volume of your vessel. So my digester is a 30 gallon barrel. I'm going to need 10 gallons of manure. Uh, the manure needs to be from an animal with a special stomach called a rumen. A rumen is the first stomach of a ruminant which receives food and partially digests it with aid of bacteria. Examples of animals whose manure will work for you. Cows, sheep, goats, deer, giraffe. If you don't know if a certain animal's manure will work, you can Google, does blank animal have a rumen? And if the answer is yes, that manure will work. If the answer is no, it won't. Common animals whose manure will not work. People ask all the time if they can use this manure. Uh, it's a question I get a lot. Horse, chicken, pigs, dogs. You can feed your digester manure from these animals, but you can't inoculate a digester with manure from these animals. So uh, it, it won't work to start your digester at this stage, okay? Next note, once you have picked an animal, you have access to their manure, um, at least a quantity of one third of the volume of your vessel, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure it's the freshest you can get. Fresh out, of, right out of the animal is ideal. Um, as we talked about in our methanogen video, uh, they do not like the air, the light, or the temperature that they're exposed to on the outside of the animal. So as soon as they come out of that animal, uh, they start dying. So you want the freshest manure possible. It's going to make this process go a lot smoother for you. Uh, let's see. Next note. All right, since I've got a 30-gallon barrel, I'm going to need 10 gallons of manure. And I got two 5-gallon buckets, and I went and filled them up with manure from a cow. Next thing we got to do is open up both valves on our digester. And uh, we're going to end up pouring it all through that um, funnel. So if you have a vessel where you can take the whole lid off, that would be ideal. You could dump the entire volume of manure in there, fill it up with water, and then mix it up with a stick. That would be great. I can't do that because I can't take the top of my vessel off. So I'm going to have to mix it up on the outside of the vessel and pour it all into the funnel. I used a paint mixer on a drill to help me with that. It looked like this.
Once all the manure is in the digester, just pour water in there until it's uh, full and it's coming out the, uh, the downspout there. Now that it's full, shut both valves. Now take some kind of jar of water, or one of these buckets would work fine too, and put both hoses into it. Both hoses submerged in water so that, uh, make sure you can see that. Yeah. So that fresh air can't get in here. Okay? Now we're going to leave it until uh, we've got flammable gas. Which should be about three or four weeks. In the meantime, I'm going to make sure I have everything for the next part, uh, which is a filter housing and storage. So stay tuned for that video. Thanks for watching.